Hello, welcome to Working Horses with Jim. I'm Brenda and today we are planning on going on a little adventure with our right, man, ha right hand man here, Baron. We're gonna take a little jaunt. If you missed our last video, Jim just put some, and um, our Amish friend put some new shoes on Baron. And we'll see how that all works out. And today, before we go, I wanted to show you that Jim has been busy out here putting up some more gutters. Yay! Y'all finished? Hey guys, all done. If we have another, I think, uh, 40 foot stretch of gutters done. And uh, so far, I'm really happy with this gutter system. It's quite reasonably priced and uh, it's pretty easy to do. And I have, a, as you see up there, I have an awful lot of roof. Now stay back here, Brenda. As you see up there, I have an awful lot of roof and an awful lot of water that comes out into this barnyard, which makes it a muddy mess. Off to our right is the sawmill building that I fixed up the wall last year, I guess it was. And I hope to do that um, set the gutters up on that one this year also. Um, I'm a little bit concerned because on this barn right here, the water will, or I mean in the winter time, the snow will build up so bad, especially right here from here back to that other building. I mean, I have times where the ice and snow will hang out like that far from the building. And so I might, if I don't do anything, it might just tear these gutters right off the off the the roof if I let it if I leave them there. But I might take the first 20 foot. These gutters are all 20 foot sections, and I might take the first 20 foot section off for the winter time. But I will get up here and I want to show you what it looks like up top. So there you have our gutters from here. There's a slight drop all the way down to the end. Um, it's not perfect. There's some water sitting down there, so it's not sloped perfectly, but it's perfectly fine. And I have not decided yet what I'm going to do with my downspout and what I'm going to do with the water. I, if you recall from another video, I actually made a, or I put a, a tank there and I put the water, ran the water into the tank. And that works fine, but it doesn't take at all and the tank's just running over, so it's, it's not the best setup. So I'll probably end up digging a ditch and running some tile and so that I can take the water from here and get it down into the stream down below. So we'll just have to see how it goes. So it's been oh, quite a few days now since I've hitched up Baron. I think this is this is Friday, and I don't know. I don't remember when I hitched him up last. But he's got a lot of energy, so I've been putting him outside, but it's just not getting enough exercise. So we decided we'll head down the road with the cart and see if we can't get some energy out of him. And I'll show you and talk to you about the what's going on with his legs, his feet. Well guys, this might just be a boring video that we're going to do today, but we hopefully have a few things we want to show you. And, uh, and so we'll see how it goes. 
I, I shouldn't say boring because Brenda's gonna, gonna go with me, so <laughs> um, whenever Brenda's with us, never boring. Well, when you said that, I was thinking, you just, we just never know what's gonna happen. So, who knows? Curious to see how he goes on the shafts because the last time I put him on the shafts, he stepped right over them perfectly. And you know how it is when you're doing something like this, when you got a lot of people watching, it doesn't always go perfect every time. Baron was out running in the pasture this morning so maybe he got rid of some energy and he's probably not um, thirsty too much there's plenty of water out there we've had another rainy morning so far and it looks like it's threatening rain out there even today right now but it's not supposed to rain i kept up it wasn't supposed to rain this morning so that's why i say you never know what's going to happen Oh, 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 ha, 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 step up, step up, hop, ha, 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 oh, step step, oh, oh, all right, guy. <laughs> I was going to say, wow, you did it perfect, then Come I started here. Oh. moving around. All it takes is one tiny little side step. And you're way off course. It's really not the safest and best way to do this because um, the chances of stepping on these shafts, even with a really good horse, is pretty high. Safe to who? <laughs> the shafts. <laughs> you know, if he stepped on these in the wrong spot and put all his weight on it, he pretty good chance he's going to break it. Yeah, but. I just want him to be safe. Oh, he's fine. Okay, so we're we're ready to go, and we'll talk as we as we're going along. Um, as you can hear, the sawmill is actually running because William, our new employee, an Amish guy from four miles from here, he's actually doing the learning how to run the sawmill. And we'll show you him a little bit later in this video. <gasps> Kitty, stay out from underneath there. What is wrong with you? kitten casualty in the making. That little kitty is so cute. Matthew, Matthew. I stepped you. Got this. Yeah. Brandy, don't go shut the lights off in the barn. Yep. I stepped up. He's full of baloney today. Okay, so careful. let me explain what we're going to do today. Um, our biggest reason for doing what we're doing today is he really needs some exercise. <laughs> so we'll be heading out to the field. And last night I had all my horses uh, close by. Um, I've been 
trying to work the, the young three-year-olds every day on their driving. And I've been doing that all week. And um, today, they were not there. They have, uh, they can go up into the side hill pasture. They have places that they can go. But they also, if they wanted to, they could go up to the side hill pasture, through the woods, and down to where the cabin is. And in the cabin, they could come out into the hay field, which I fenced off for the cows, and they could be there. And I'm sort of thinking maybe they're there because I have not seen them yet today. So we're gonna go out around the cornfield and see what we can find. There's a batch of cows over there. Yeah, but those are all my neighbor's cows. Yeah, they all hang together. As you can see also off to our left here, we've got quite a lot of nice second cutting that we've got to get cutting if we ever get any weather. We what? thought next week was supposed to be really good, and now they've changed the forecast already, and it's more rain than, than not. But it's bound to come at some point. It might be September. But we have a little bit of second cutting to cut, and still a little bit of first cutting to cut. past our cornfield here, off to our right, and we're coming now upon some more nice second cutting that we would surely like to cut for dry hay, and we will if we get the weather. I was looking at what is making all the noise on this cart, and it's the... Steel against steel. Yeah, it's the evener on top of that. The whipple tree, and, the, and it's yeah. actually the and the chains also. So I see the cows out there, and I don't see any horses. So if there's no horses out there, that means they're still up on the side hill pasture. And they just have not come down to the barn yet today because it's cool, it's rainy, there's no flies to mount to anything because it's been raining. And uh, so they're content up in the field. Got plenty of water. Yes. Yesterday I did not fool with Bree at all, but I did replace the shoe on Lady that she had lost. So she has her front shoes on and she's ready to go to work if I had any work for her. You can see how this field is doing over here. Cows have been out here for quite a while now, right? They have. But there's, there's a lot of feed there, so. We've had comments about people saying, um, well, we actually had comments to some people saying, I didn't even know we had cows. But yes, we do have cows. Also, uh, people have asked, do we use artificial breeding or do we have a bull? Every year, every, usually August, first of August, I like to put a bull in with the cows. And I've been doing that fairly regularly. This year it was a week or so late before we get the bowl out here. And the bowl that we have is our neighbor's bowl. And I think it'll be a good bowl, but bye. Kept up. Where is he? Well, as, as far as a saying I wanted to show you the bowl and he's not even here and I don't know where he's at so it is possible he's up in the side of pasture with the horses <laughs> I don't know where that bowl is he's <laughs> supposed right. to be down here doing his job well let's go up and see he's little but it's not that white face right there no 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 <laughs> he's not that little well jump back on and we'll see what we can go find out yikes where is he Maybe he's over with the neighbor's cows. Maybe he is. Maybe I should spring around and just go check there. I kept up. I mean, I'm hoping he's with cows. Cheek, 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 I like that turn. I liked it. Nice and sharp. I wonder how Sharon, Sharon, I wonder how Baron liked it. So at some point here, we're going to get on the blacktop. 
so that we can show you a better shot of Baron's feet. And with the new wedges that we put in on his shoes, we'll see if there is a noticeable difference on the way he walks. And it's hard in the grass because you just can't see very well, but in the blacktop you'll be able to see better. One thing we might want to take a moment to talk about is the fact that we have another DAPNET um, field days coming up. That's Draft Animal Powered Network field days coming up. It's in, um, do you remember the date? The last of, it's the weekend of the last of September and the first of October. So it's a Friday, Saturday, Sunday event. It's in Shelburne, Vermont at... Shelburne Farms. Shelburne Farms. It was there two years ago? Uh, same Shelburne. place? Yeah. And uh, the exciting news is Jim is bringing the horses to um, be uh, probably Bill and Ken to uh, take part in the logging demonstration. There's um, going to be a bunch of guys getting together doing some logging and Jim is bringing his team and there's a all day workshop on Friday. Uh, they call it an intensive and you can go for that or there's going to be some workshops on Saturday that are shorter and you can just come and go as you please. Um, but Jim is going to be logging there with some of his horse logging buddies. And also, it's not just logging, it's also farming, so there'll be a lot of farming, farming activities or farming, um, you know, showing people how to farm with horses also. I'm looking down there, seeing what that bull's there. And he is not. Can you definitely tell him? Could he doesn't look like Could it. Could definitely. So, that probably means he's up with the horses. Maybe there's some other cows up there. I don't know, but we need to go find him. Yeah. So back to DAPNET, I think you can go online and look at, just um, type in draft, and we'll put that, we can put the link in below too in the description, but draft animal powered network, you, and it should come up, all the info about that weekend. We had a really good time last year, and we have a video on that too from our time last year, but like Jim said, there's a lot of farming stuff too. So just people working with not only horses, but also oxen, any kind of animal power, even dogs last year. There's our marshmallows. I got uh, my trucker came yesterday and he was able to get two loads of firewood out of my firewood pile to go to customers. some coon problems, uh, really big coon problems. Jim put a fence around the perimeter and they just took all our corn. So we were a little bit late. Where are you going, hon? I just wanted to show them their flower Oh, garden. I was like, don't run into that fence with Baron. I was just worried. Uh, but anyways, next week, um, I plan on digging all our potatoes. It has a way, Norm. Um, and my, our granddaughters are coming, so I think they'll be a great help with that. The point of Baron's feet, I'm gonna show you how See what you guys think and see if there's an improvement. Is he tipping his feet in like he was before? Is he seems to be walking straight? 
hitting the ground flat. Some people thought he'd be lame after putting those wedges in and he, he was, he has not been. So I'm going to let him try a little bit and we'll see if there's a difference with that. Careful. Seems to me when he trots, he kind of hits his outside corner of his, of his foot first. So I'm hoping we did the right thing by using these wedges, pulling these wedges. As we make this video, the one of him being shod is just coming out and the comments are coming in. And it seems like some people are saying you did the wrong thing, some people are saying you did the right thing. So it's really hard to know. We're just sharing life. We don't have all the answers. I thought you did. I'd like to. I'd like to find somebody who does have all the answers. Well, I do know somebody who has all the answers. That's all right. I hope you're referring to God, not me. I am referring to God. <laughs> I know you don't have all the answers. You're pretty great, but you don't have all the answers. I'm, I'm a little saddened that you said that. What? You said that I thought you thought it did know all the answers. You know a lot. Oh, there's the horses. Oh, Is this open? Oh. He, he's, he's scaring me with the fences. I'm afraid he's going to run Baron right into the fence. Oh, we can't take Baron up there. Probably better not. No, I don't think so. Let's go up the road a ways. Keep careful. Yeah. Baron might get That's ideas. Up. He's a good boy, but he might not be that good. We still don't know on Lady whether she truly is bred or not. We hope she is. Um, Jim's got a big challenge up the road, actually. Maybe. Maybe we do, maybe we don't. Okay. We'll see. So stay tuned. be mighty nice in that little two-seater sleigh that we have. Yeah, it'd be better than this, because this thing, like, um, it's not smooth. I just put it that way. It's not that bad, though. It's just that, I don't know, the metal thing, the metal issue. The noise. Yeah. Yeah. And it, it, like, um, holds, like. Folks, if you look ahead of us, quite a ways ahead, at the end of the road, there is a big tree service truck with a big boom that's working on a tree up here. And something like this, of course, could scare a lot of horses. And maybe it'll scare Baron, maybe it won't. But I think he's at the age and it's time for us to give them some experiences like this. That's a very high lift on that truck. I hope you guys can see it. Think, guys, think he's gonna freak out when he gets closer to that truck? 
raffle. Raffle. Hey, why don't you jump off, Brendan, just in case he does freak out. Trying to jump up. Mm -hmm. Cast out. Cast out. Problems. He did all right. Cast down. When I came by this morning, he was up at the end of his boom, cutting the top off that big tree. Quite a job. Going up in that lift is, must be scary. Started with the chainsaw. Baron freaked out a bit. So well, while we're right here, why don't we swing into Abby's house? Let's see what she's got going. This is our daughter Abby's house. And she's doing a renovation in this house. This was awesome. She is putting on a bathroom addition right here now. Oh. So they put in, they poured a foundation. And so we had to get four loads of sand. And that actually came from our property. We'll actually run up there with Baron even. I'll show you the sand pit. I've never shown, shown you my sand pit, but we'll do that. So this sand has to be pushed to um, fill in around the foundation. I hope we're not given, if you haven't checked out a drill in a dream, you should because all of her um, Just Just building Just adventures are chronicled there. And maybe we've already spoiled the surprise of the new edition type of things or whatever. I'm not sure where Abby is on her videos, but... Uh, she just did that this morning, her and Jay just put the walls up this yeah. morning, so... So maybe by the time her video comes out, you're going to already know about it. But that's okay. We have to get permission. We don't we don't spoil it too often. It seems like it's hard to hold back going down the hill. Do you think it is? No. Not at all. Okay. Well, he doesn't walk a straight line, Perfect. I'll tell you that. Here we are heading up into our wood lot. And I haven't been up here for quite a few weeks. I had cut some logs earlier up here and brought them home. And we're actually just sawing them now. But uh, I've been cutting firewood home on the, in the home place for a while now, so. What was that noise? Sure. It sounded like a chain fell. Yeah, I didn't have a chain on here. day for a ride in the woods. The woods are so nice and quiet and calm. Oh, 
after and it was just taking a chomp at a beech leaf. It's pretty good with his leaves. <laughs> We're heading down the road to the sand pit. Tell you what, the grandkids, this is one of the things they usually want to do when they come for a visit is go to the sand pit. And I'll show you why in a minute. We, uh, we're very fortunate to have a small, it's not a very big sand pit, but it's this small sand pit on our property because when we need sand, it's, you know, it's simple enough to come up here and get sand. A, uh, a friend of ours has a loader and, and uh, a truck, and so he, when we need sand, he can come move it for us. This is a rough road. Yeah, it is. It's a lot of roots in it, that's why. I have an idea. I'm gonna get off, and you can pretend that you're Ben-Hur with your chariot going into the arena. I missed that movie. <laughs> it kind of looks like an arena in here. One thing you could get out and actually go up that steep hill to come up out of here. Oh no, you're not oh, going to make yeah. him do that, are oh, you? Yeah. So the grandkids love to climb these hills and then they come down from the top down and they like scare me, but I think the hills are a little less than they used to be. I don't know, they're, they're pretty bad. And there's roots that come down from the trees and they climb on those. Oh. We had a um, sleigh ride here, a couple, not wagon last, ride. a wagon ride because we didn't have any snow and there's some of the wood is left over. We they, had a bonfire here. Yeah, the, everybody had a good time. Actually, we do have a video on that, but um, the guys that day, we're having contests running up the hill too. It was pretty fun to watch them. So why don't you go over there and I'll see if I can climb, if Baron can climb that oh hill. Oh my goodness, and what if he can't? Well, we'll come down backwards. Can he do it, guys? Are you going over here? Well, that's better than over there. Up. No, that was no problem. Let's try the next one. No. <laughs> I shouldn't have said anything. I'm just glad, I'm glad I wasn't riding. So here's this one that he just came up. This is a lot worse over here. Oh boy. And if you can't make it, you can have to back down. Oh, try that with your four-wheel drive trucks. <laughs> oh boy. Maybe we should try this. <laughs> no. Buck stops there. That's mean Baron stops there. <laughs> yeah. May he rest okay. in peace, Buck. So, I guess Baron's after not, Baron gets his fill. Yeah, I guess he's not picky what kind of leaves he eats. Those are oak. You know, guys, we have very few oak trees in this part of our, in this area, for some reason. I don't know why oak grows here, but all the oak that we have here are actually planted oak. They were planted back years ago. They really haven't grown that well because it's really sandy soil here, of course. Well, these are probably seedlings from the previous oak, aren't they? Because look uh, how small maybe, that is. Maybe, but they just, yeah. A lot of them are, yes, yes. And these look diseased for some reason this year. They don't look that healthy, do they? 
No, they got something going on. They did have plenty of water this year, but. Yeah. So Baron, are you done with your snack? I cast out. Homer bound. said this in other videos, but years ago, um, the person that owned this property before me, they did a lot of um, planting trees. So we have like five different plantations up here and spots where they plant the trees. And we have one particular type of tree right off to our right here. There's a bunch of them right through here. And these trees are, oh, trees that most people don't know what they are. Now remember, we live on the, you know, in New York, northern New York. And uh, uh, if it was myself, when I moved here 30 years ago, I would not have the foggiest idea of what kind of trees they are. But uh, I know what kind they are because I was told by the previous owner. So I would love to have you guys try to guess what kind of trees these are. And at the end of the video, I will try to remember to tell you the actual answer to what kind of trees these are. I cast up. That one too right there? Yep. So just beyond here, you can see the tree, the tree kind of changes color. So that's a different kind of tree there. Okay. What about Hold it back. Hold it back, Hill. We're gonna have a have to stop here. We're gonna have a little collision. Oh. Comes our neighbor, neighbor oh. Brian heading on by.
They're done for the day. The boom's all down in the truck. Maybe. Everybody's on the ground. That's right. Guys are probably wondering what in the world is that old couple out there <laughs> strolling around with, with a, a camera. <laughs> with a camera. Horse and a camera. What a bunch of weirdos. <laughs> Barn. I know, but we could take a pull with that and climb that boat. As you can see, we're going to have lots of apples this year. I should have picked some off. They're not real big, but they're super plenteous. How many pie, apple pies have you already had? Not enough. A couple. I think already. it's time for another one. Oh, brother, you just finished your last one. I'm not apple crisp. I haven't had that for at least a week. I can do apple crisp. It's easier than a pie. Salmon's still, still, still running. <laughs> when you have somebody new learning salmon, a lot of times all it takes is one, one thing to go wrong, and then they, they've got to shut down until I get back. So it's good he's still going. Oh, we'll go take you, show you real quick what he's up to. Good boy. He did really well. Yeah, good job, Barry. He's probably more than one to stand still now. Okay. Yeah. He's a good boy. Barry, yeah. let's see a front shot. Yeah, there you are. So William is right at it. 
ấy cái làm vậy he's got a lot to learn but he's doing really really well for his first day well Jim was talking to William I did check out the corn and there is a little bit left I'm excited to, to see that it looks like at least we have enough for tonight for supper and we have some later corn that we might be able to still get out of it as long as I remember to turn the fence on every night I turn it off during the day because the chickens come and go but every once in a great while I forget to turn it on so I also just wanted to show you that well I just did pick tomatoes but there the, the tomatoes are coming there were I got a big armful of tomatoes they're coming so that's exciting. Well, thanks for coming along today with us. We hope you enjoyed the video. Well, look what I came into in the house. What in the world are you girls doing? House Marie, what are you doing? Apple pie. Apple pie? Or apple crisp? Apple crisp. Apple crisp. And Noel, what you doing? Cutting up the apples. Mm -hmm. My goodness. You got them right at work. Love yeah, to see you. What do you want me to do? Great help. Can't wait for a little while yeah, from now. We'll show you some real together. good food. So we can... Um... So here we are with our nice, fresh, hot apple crisp. Brenda even made some ice cream. And we are going to definitely have a treat with our granddaughters, Alice Marie and Noel. Mm -hmm. And uh, the reason I'm talking right now after we already finished our video is because I had forgotten that I told you I'd tell you what kind of trees they were up in the woods. Those are Douglas fir trees. Now, Douglas fir tree is not at all native to this area. And so, but the people that own that land did plant it, the Douglas fir. And... Uh, Take some. It's, uh, it's grown pretty good, although nothing like it would out west where it is native. But anyways, I've cut some of it up, and maybe sometime I'll, I'll saw some stuff up and show you what the lumber looks like. Um, another thing also, uh, we did find our bull. Um, he finally just kind of showed up with the cows, and that's a good thing. I'd like to, I'm curious, this is an awful long video, longest video <laughs> I've ever made. And I'm just curious how many people actually watched it to the end. So if you watched it to the end, if you feel like it, put a little comment saying, I actually finished it. So anyways, you guys have a great day. We'll see you next time. I want to eat my apple crisp. You want some ice cream? I do. Thank you girls for making the apple crisp. It looks great.